we're here at 705 North Florissant. As you can see, it's a brick exterior. It has vinyl windows, nice little mailbox. This is just a cute, cute, cute little house. It is really designed and decorated beautifully. It has beautiful hardwood floors. That's the first thing you see when you walk in. Absolutely gorgeous hardwood floors. A nice fireplace. And this is a gas fireplace. It's got your little logs in there, ready to go. Ceramic in front of it. And then next, I want to show you the absolutely beautiful kitchen. This kitchen has a ceramic tile floor, has a beautiful gas stove, five burner, a microwave built in, all stainless, has the uh, granite countertops, wonderful cabinets a dishwasher, and then a very interesting uh, refrigerator here that is a commercial style refrigerator. It has a freezer down in the basement, but this is your refrigerator. I'm going this way, I'm going to show you the first of two bedrooms. The doors are very pretty and have the glass panels in them. Here's your first uh, bedroom. It has a ceiling fan and it also has these gorgeous hardwood floors. Nice black trim to it. Uh, as a former electrician I want to point out that this probably would need to be fixed. That's not a code uh, outlet. So whoever buys the house needs to set back a little bit of money to have that put right. That would be a buyer's expense. Bedroom number two, window treatment, ceiling fan, gorgeous hardwood floors, nice trim all the way around. The bathroom here is also really nice. Move in ready, beautiful blue tile, nice tub, oversized shower head, glass blocks, nice vanity. And then I'm going to go out and show you the back deck. Then we'll hit the basement. This deck, this house is located just a short, short distance from January Wabash Park. Imagine the 4th of July when you could be entertaining here and just watching the fireworks off the back deck or out of your, your gazebo down below. It's uh, more of a pergola than a gazebo. Okay, so here's your deck. Going down, you have a nice privacy fence all the way around, and uh, raised bed garden here, beautiful walkway inlaid, and here is just a wonderful little pergola slash covered dining area deck type thing. The park is just up that way. Not too far at all away. Cute little face there. And I'm going to take you back in and show you the basement. This house is just down the street from uh, the corner coffee house. That would be a short walk or a bicycle drive away. Right down the street from uh, the Ferguson Brew House, which is a wonderful restaurant has some of the best salmon in St. Louis. Now let's hit the basement. There's a schnooks within walking distance. Now we're in the basement, obviously. And, uh, huh. house has a Challenger electrical panel. Challenger makes a very good panel. It is a 100 amp panel. And uh, I don't know if you can see it there. Let me turn that light on. 
100 amp challenger nice panel it has the furnace over here the furnace is a gas furnace the water heater it's a little older but it's gas as well has a little bar down here and there is a walkout basement so that's nice and newer tile type vinyl basement windows all around cinder block walls now we're going to go up and see the upstairs there is a third bedroom in the attic probably could use a handrail here but it sells as is and all the bidding is online heading upstairs now again beautiful wood all the way through this house the wood let me put the light on this the wood is spectacular here this it's just a monstrous big room for your third bedroom. Okay, well we'll have two open houses slash due diligence inspection period for you to come and see this house. Vinyl windows up here again. And two very cool ceiling fans. Let's see that thing work. I've never seen one quite like that. Very cool. Looks like some sort of a Klingon weapon. All right. Thank you for watching and come visit us at the uh, open house.